So Aaron Rodgers Tuesday season four is uh, done. Yeah. Oh, complete. Man. Good season. There's going to be a lot of people that are happy with that. Myself included, to be honest. With the way <laughs> it ended, it got real loud. Mm -hmm. And uh, real loud. I'm happy that that is not going to be my mentions going forward, mm -hmm. which is great news. We always, and this is legit, and I think I'm never going to act like people are out to get people. Sure. But throughout my life, there's been a lot of people that have definitely wanted to see me not do good because uh, I'm an uber confident human being, loud. And if I think you're trying to hold me or my guys back, like I'm an asshole too. Certainly have zero. <laughs> don't need you. Hey, what are you? Nothing. Sweet. See ya. Keep it moving. So there were some people, especially when, you know, like, uh, you know, I negotiate my own deal here. Mm -hmm. So that's a whole business there. Mm hmm. You know, right? A couple jobs, a lot yeah. of connections, a lot of stuff like that. See ya. Hey, I'm uh, I'm gonna with, I'm I'm running my show. Oh yeah. I keep my creative rights. Okay, hundred percent. Who's gonna create sh me and my guys? That's gonna. That's how this. That's a whole nother. Mm -hmm. See that's a whole nother <laughs> entire profession. No, con man. You can just keep your sound effects to yourself. Okay. In this exact moment, that's a whole nother profession, people. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. So you got this group here, this group here, mm -hmm. and then we have it. We've cut the line too a lot, you know, because you're, this is supposed to be like a union where you just kind of wait for others that you go. So then you got, you got like that group, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. So going in, we knew that we potentially ruffled some feathers in about three to five professions that have a lot of power and a lot of say. And we understood it. We completely understood it. I appreciated it. I have a lot of respect for a lot of agents. There's a lot of horrendous horseshit ones, though, that somehow get by. And they kind of make the good agents look bad, by the way. So that is just that. Whole thing. This whole thing, I don't believe in any of them. Like, I don't. Like, the middle management producers that run shows and stuff and create headlines and ideas and stuff, They none of them have a lot of respect for me. I don't have a lot of respect for them, which is why I'm like, don't put us up for the Emmys. Don't want to be an Emmy person because these are the humans that are voting on them. Mm -hmm. Now, through our times, I've found like three to four of these people that are good at their jobs and sure. creative and fun. Most of them, though, just kind of very, yeah, you know, mm -hmm. this type of thing. So don't really get along with much of them. And then all these people that think we jump line and we don't deserve it, like those people have hated us since we were on the internet. I have a lot of respect for them and their hustle and their grind, but they were going to be against us forever. And we knew that. I knew that coming into this. And over the last week, we have certainly given them all a lot of stuff to get mad about and become loud about. We have messed up in that particular aspect. And by we, I mean we're a conversation show. People are having conversations. We live in a country that has freedom of speech, but also you're going to have to deal with the consequences of your freedom of speech. So what I'm saying is we've given a lot of people who have been waiting for us to fail a lot of ammo and things to attack us for over the last week. And we would love to get back to the point where we just move on and continue to silence all the haters over here who can't negotiate as good as I can. All the people over here who can't create a show as good as us, and all the people up here who just can always be here, and they're going to hustle and do their thing, which I respect, but we need to do that. And that is our focus. That is our goal. And Aaron Rodgers is a Hall of Famer. Mm -hmm. He's a four-time MVP. He's a massive piece of the NFL story. Whenever you go back and tell it, he will be a huge part of it. We are very lucky to get a chance to chat with him and learn from him. Some of his thoughts and opinions, though, do piss off a lot of people. A lot of people. And uh, I'm pumped that that is no longer going to be every single Wednesday of my life, uh, which it has been for the last few weeks. On Friday, obviously, I threw us into the fire as well. Forever stand by that. Everything else, though, <laughs> like, just can't do that and not what we want to be known for. And I'm also pumped that I don't have to do these types of talks sure. anymore. This exact statement is exactly why fans didn't want Pat McAfee joining ESPN. Not only does he keep having to apologize for something that someone else said, but he also has to worry about executives at his own company sabotaging his show. Big companies like Disney will tell you one thing, but do another. In the beginning, they said they weren't changing anything about the Pat McAfee show. We ain't changing a damn thing. That was a lie. He had full control. He made all the decisions. All they were doing was giving him more money and a bigger platform. But the moment Aaron Rodgers says something that they don't like or they don't agree with, they immediately try to control the show. One of the reasons that fans love the Pat McAfee show is because he didn't have to worry about any of this. 
He didn't have to worry about ESPN breathing down his neck and watching everything he says. The show was seen as an alternative to ESPN and other mainstream shows. You could see content that you couldn't find on the other programs. They had Aaron Rodgers on during COVID and he could say whatever he wanted without having to worry. But now, whenever he says the wrong thing, ESPN executives throw a fit and Pat McAfee has to apologize for it. I don't think Pat McAfee really wanted Aaron Rodgers to be done for the season, but I think ESPN made that decision for him. I don't understand ESPN's point of view at all. They knew exactly what they were getting themselves into when they signed Pat McAfee. It wasn't a secret what type of content he was making. He had a huge YouTube channel. Everyone knew about it. And during COVID, he had Aaron Rodgers on all the time. It's one of the reasons he became so popular in the first place. That's why he gave Aaron Rodgers a bunch of money for those appearances. So knowing that, you sign him to a massive contract and then have a problem with the type of content he's producing. It doesn't make any sense. If you have this big of a problem, then you shouldn't have signed him. But that's all I have for this video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of Aaron Rodgers no longer appearing on the Pat McAfee show for the rest of the NFL season. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video and subscribe for more content just like this. And I will see you in the next upload.